Super lads, what's the crack? My name is Orgija Runner, and welcome back to Life is Strange, Episode 5, Polarized. Now, this is the last episode in this game. Oh, I can't wait to get into it. I mean, Episode 4 completely threw me for a loop. So, it seems like Mr. Jefferson is somehow in cahoots with uh, the Prescotts. And he is more or less a protector of Nathan, or some sort of bodyguard something like that not not necessarily a bodyguard but he is definitely trying to protect Nathan from the consequences of his actions or maybe he's trying to set him up I don't know but we'll only know by playing further into the game so sit back relax enjoy and we will see how this all plays out I really like this background too like I want to see what the storm will actually do like what's the correlation between um, Arcadia Bay getting hit by uh, a tornado or a water spout as it were and the strange goings on well anyway let's get right into it previously on life is strange Whoa. Whoa. what did you find rachel in the dark room over and over that's it we can't trust anybody Except each other. You know more about her than me. No. You and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Oh, look. The Wonder Twins. What are you doing in my dorm? You are so fucking dead! Nathan is truly psychotic. I know he has something to do with Rachel missing. <sighs> Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. What are you doing here, Mac? Victoria has to be met. What a lame gimmick. Rachel, why is he putting her in the ground like this? Where? The junkyard. Mac, we have to find that spot now. Oh. Your life is in serious danger. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Oh, no. Chloe. How? What the fuck? right will we be able to save chloe again will we be able to rewind time far enough to the point where we know what mr jefferson is going to do oh please let us be able to save chloe that's what i want to know and also does mr jefferson know about her powers Or would he have similar powers himself? What a plot twist that would be. And again, what is his connection to all of this? Like, is he some sort of puppet master? Like, is he pulling the strings behind it? Nathan or is he a Prescott himself who knows I mean, there are so many questions to be asked here oh that's a nice intro okay still drugged like what is the purpose bit behind all of this Now, may maybe Nathan wasn't involved in this part, but he probably 
did have a role to play in all of this. Okay, strap down to your chair. That is not oh. very good. What? Got a very nice camera pointed at us. Drugs, binders. Is anybody out there? Please help. Detach. Oh God, it's Victoria. Oh shit! Jefferson kidnaps Victoria too. This is so bad. Victoria, wake up. Wake up. Oh, come on, Victoria. You might be our only chance to get out of here. Help! Somebody help me! Of course. And right in front of me. You're full. Oh, teasing me. Oh, shit. That's me. He took that shot last night. Who, oh, Mr. Jefferson? Yeah, God, probably. I don't remember anything that happened. If I could move it towards me. Yeah, unless you've uh, developed some sort of um, psychic powers or um, powers like Magneto, don't think you'll be doing any such thing. Straps are hurt. Yeah, that's probably what they're designed to do. Uh, oh, that's uh, one foot. Finally, I'm free. Almost. I'll pull over just a small bit. Maybe there's something sharp. Looking at myself like that. You pay for this, Jefferson. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. If he used it on Kate, maybe it was Mr. Jefferson who did that as well. God, I don't remember anything that happened. This must be the same drug Nathan used on Kate. Wait, wait, what was that? What was that? I promised I would never go back in time like this again. But this is the only way. Oh, okay, so we're going to go back to that point in time. Hey, come on. Focus. Oh, you sick freak, Jefferson. This angle highlights your purity, see? The slightly unconscious model is often the most open and honest. Vanity. Posing is just pure expression. Christ. Look at that perfect face. Okay, what do you want Who from me? You stare there. Stay still! Jesus Christ, you're absolutely insane in the membrane. Oh, Max, you fucked up my shot. Good. But please don't worry. We have all the time in the world. For now, I knew you were special the second I saw your first selfie. Yes, I still hate that word. But I love the purity of your own image. Not like Rachel, who was always looking in the wrong places. Poor Rachel. What did you do to her? When you obviously killed her, but how? Come on, kick him into going ants or something. Don't move. Much. 
Thanks, Max. If only Nathan could see this setup. He tried so hard. But you can't just throw a few subjects around and expect a cohesive style or theme. But he had an eye for shadows and an eye for a whole lot more. As his elite family will find out, along with Arcadia Bay. Nice. What do you mean by along with Arcadia Bay? Oh, those eyes. Either way, so it was you who was behind the drugging of Kate. It's too bad you're so goddamn nosy, Max. But this room is under 24-7 surveillance, so all I had to do was text you from Nathan's phone. And you fell right into my hands. You really yeah, that was pretty obvious. Schoolwork, not private detecting with your little friend. Chloe. Chloe. Right. Yeah, I'm sorry that I killed it, that Nathan killed her in self-defense. Oh, so you set but Nathan she had up. Troubled history, like most Arcadia Bay dropouts. Nobody will be surprised or care. Though I promise, people will care when you die tonight, Max. I wasn't lying when I said you have a gift. Oh, you don't even know okay. half of my gift. Now this looks good. Maybe. More close ups. Max, please do not move so much. I need you posed and framed my way. Maybe a new dose will calm you down. Come on, shake it off, Max. Shake it off. Shake it off, shake it off, yeah, come no, on, just give him a kick or something, do something, use self-defense. Much. Stupid bitch! <laughs> you just don't listen, do you? In fact, you never did hear much in my class. If you had, you might have seen all this coming. God damn, you are a fighter, though. I've had my eye on you, and I've noticed that you've been more fearless this week than maybe your whole life. Remember my number one rule. Always take the shot. Jesus, you are one fucked up motherfucker. What now? Oh, Jesus. I can't believe that happened. So sick. Right, so what was the point of that anyway? Okay, let's use our heads. There's got to be a way of getting out of this. Oh, I'm definitely more awake in this photo. I could try this one. No. That picture isn't going to help. And I can't go through all that again. I won't. Okay, okay, okay. We won't do that again. I'd really like to smash that fancy camera into Jefferson's face. Wait. Jefferson couldn't handle stains on his photos. Good. Now I can use them. Okay. That's uh, something I focus on the f photo. This might work. <gasps> Please work. Focus. Oh, oh here we go. Oh, yeah, we're definitely more loose now. I'm getting some spectacular images here, Max. Yes, Victoria would kill to be in your place, but she doesn't understand our connection. You're the winner, Max. I choose you, your portrait. Fuck 
like you. You're trying too hard. I know you're scared. You all have the same doe-eyed look when you wake up here. Replaced by fear as you realize what's about to happen. Mr. Jefferson, why are you doing this? Good question. <laughs> Max, I'm so glad you asked that question. Uh, simply put, I'm obsessed with the idea of capturing that moment. Innocence evolves into corruption. That shift from black to white to gray and beyond. Most models are cynical. They lose that naivete. However, some Blackwell students carry their hope and optimism with them like an aura. And those lucky few become my models. My subjects. Yes. Oh, lucky. That's what you're calling it. And this is your last session. Au contraire, Max. I'm so sane that nobody knows what's happening to you right now. As you can see, Sleeping Beauty here is too harsh for my gentle lens. And don't get me started on your late partner. I had enough of those faux punk sluts in my Seattle days. You killed Chloe. You murdered my best friend. She had a loaded weapon. This was clearly self-defense, but that's what happens when you play with guns. Or try to fuck with me. It's better when they don't know. My pure, sweet Kate. Well, too bad Kate survived. Kate believed, and she survived. You failed to break her. She's stronger than ever, and she'll outlive you. She'll certainly outlive you. Well, who knows? Maybe I'll pay Kate a visit soon to test her faith again. You will not get away with this. I want you to know that. Too bad you already made a convincing argument against Nathan in the principal's office. Thank you so much for setting him up for me. I do know that the Prescotts are going to have a major scandal when the town finds out what their elite son has been doing for homework. Yeah, you used Nathan, you fucking philandering psychopath. You used Nathan. I prefer the term manipulated. Like with an image. Nathan's was easy to twist around. I became a sort of father figure for Nathan. It happens often in teacher-student relationships. It was kind of touching for a while. Did you tell him everything about your plans at Blackwell? Don't be stupid, Max. I told him what he needed to hear. In return, I had access to the Prescott fortune. Who do you think paid for this glorious darkroom and equipment? How else could I get all these hip new drugs for my subjects? Rachel Amber was your victim, not your subject. Oh. Rachel Amber. Hm. That's the real tragedy. Nathan thought he could be an artist like me. Instead, the dumbass gave her an overdose. Oh, so Nathan did kill Rachel Amber. Accidentally. Accidentally on purpose. Chloe and Rachel. You killed both of them. They're fucking together in heaven right now. Is that what you want to hear? Why? Oh Why? my god, you're so Why? sick. Why? Start listening to me, you dumb cunt. Oh, language. I'm sorry, Max. <laughs> that was not cool. Rachel is dead, but no tears. Los Angeles would have killed her anyway, so look at this as a favor. You're evil. Oh, I see. You're good because you stopped your friend from beating Nathan up. I cared more about Nathan than you did. No, you didn't. It's just too bad that he fell in lust with Rachel. He actually thought he could mimic what I do with the camera and subjects, like father, but not like son. Where is Nathan now? Dead and buried. After what he did to Rachel, I knew I couldn't keep him as a protege for much longer. Wait, you killed him too? Now the police will never find his body. Do you finally get it now, Max? I can't Holy compromise my shit. mission with amateurs. You are an amateur. Look at the trail of death you left behind. You can't blame all this on Nathan. I don't care.
care what you do to me. You're gonna die, motherfucker. For Chloe and Rachel and everybody else. I do love your spirit, Max, but you brought yourself here by your own choice. Anyway, I like my models to be seen and not heard. So I have to make sure there's nothing left behind of you. Okay. Now, let's see how these shots came out. I can see why your instant camera is so appealing. You don't need a computer to print your work out. Okay, now how am I going to jump from one scene to the next? Sorry. Oh, I have all those photos in my diary. This, this could be a way out. I have all those photos in my diary. This could be a way out. So I have to somehow convince him to bring your journal over here and for me to take a look at it. Then go back in time to before all of this happened. Okay. Let's try that, shall we? See how these shots came out. I can see why you speak. Wait. Please, uh, Mr. Jefferson. Max, I would love to talk shop, but I really need to go over these pictures, especially while they're fresh in my mind. I think our session was a career high for me. Okay, let's see, will he give me my diary? You, you still have my diary. Don't worry, nobody's going to read it. Thanks for reminding me. There's nothing more innocent than a teenager's diary. Oh, look at your selfies. What a waste of talent. Look at that shot, Max. You can do so much better. Yeah, idiot. Okay, so when was this shot taken? Oh my god. I could go all the way back to the moment this all started. Max, this could be your chance to fix everything. For good. Right, let's do it. Boy, if it's technically going back in time, true photos has its limitations as well, I think. Like, remember, certain areas are blocked off, just like when we went back to try and save William. I mean, sure, it definitely affected the outcome of, of the present. So there are certain limits to it. any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie a dumb I'm back. For a wonderful photographic picture. right back where I started this insane week and nobody course, is going to hurt Chloe know, ever again portrait has been popular since the early 1800s oh right back at the beginning the first to use images for selfie expression sorry see look at it Look what I meant. Point remains that, that area by the top left, or not top left, but dead ahead is blocked off. It's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Hmm, I could decide to say who cares or not capturing. But we kind of want to play it out the way it was played the first time. The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process. Oh. Well. That was easy, Max. Was it? Okay. Well. Uh, okay, then. So. Don't give uh, me like that, the Victoria. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects clear, defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Obviously, 
Max has read them. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the everyday time heroes. Time to change time. The winner to San Francisco, where you'll be feted by the first. Let's make it real easy to capture Mark Jefferson. And Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Bastard. Yeah, we can see you for what you I are have now. To warn David about Jefferson and the dark room. Wait, David. This diary literally saved my Oh life. yeah, David Metzen. All I need is David's number, and Jefferson is one text closer to life without parole. I hope I still love photography when this is done. Don't confuse the art with the artist. Did you know someday your pictures would actually alter time and space? I should be able to track down David's number from the school pamphlet. Okay, Mark, just come back, Jefferson. Back. Okay, well, we have to enter this number in manually, I wonder. 555, 630, 8243. Wait. Wait. I, 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 I can't select the cell phone. Oh, here we go. For once, David, I'm praying you'll overreact to this as much as everything else. And take Jefferson down fast. M Mr. Madsen, you're after Rachel Amber. Okay, how much do you know the location? He's sick and tamed for stopping. You wanted me to enter the contest, asshole. So maybe I'll be going to San Francisco. And Jefferson, you'll be going to prison. Yeah, he was hoping. in the past. Am I pushing myself too hard? Uh, not hurt It doesn't enough. matter what happens to me. I have to save Chloe. I'm happy to fix it, so you'll be here to get your fancy camera, Victoria. Victoria, it's nice to know how you really feel. My phone is dead and I'm bored. Time to bust out my posy. Or my, my what? Posy? Posy? Uh, why did they give up the word for the image? Because I suck. But Mark Jefferson rules. Everybody in here loves him. But he only seems to care about Max C. I want to hate her, but she wouldn't care. Envy is a sin, Vic. Get over yourself. Aww. Okay, so Victoria was envious of us. Well, ain't that adorable. Oh, Rachel. I'm sorry. Now, I wonder, would it be possible for us to go back in time and save her? Hi, Kate. Oh, hey, Max. Kate, listen to me. I am. Always remember that you're not alone. I've got your back no matter what happens. So do a lot of other people. We all care. We're all here for you. You need to know that. Max, that makes me feel so blessed for the first time this week. I, I don't know what to say. That's okay. Neither do I. Maybe we could both use a hug. Oh, bring it in, Kate. Thanks. You always know the right thing to do. Okay, what about this paper ball? This is the last time somebody bullies you, Kate. Dear Kate, we love your porn video. XOX or XOXO Blackwell Academy. Well, fuck you, Victoria. Victoria, I'm sorry you have to stand next to that psycho. There's still some beauty left in Arcadia Bay. Oh, well, that's nice. I still feel like the lighthouse is calling out to me. Hmm, you could be right. 
Like, what has all of this got to do with the impending destruction of Arcadia Bay? Like, is it just a natural phenomenon? Or freak natural phenomenon, I should say, or what? I'd like to bust this up right now. Wait, we can't go out here, can we? I can't go past these photo boundaries, so I need to fix everything from here. Just a week ago, I was so naive about art, life, the world. I can't blame the cameras, but I just think of Jefferson using them. Yeah, the sick, twisted, deviant that he is. Not impressed anymore. Oh, if only I could tell the whole class about Jefferson and watch him squirm. But I better let David take care of everything. Yeah. Good idea. Oh, we have a photo opportunistic moment or photo opportunistic moment. Ah. And she even posed as well. That's nice. Surprised she didn't say anything. Okay. Right, here we go. Let's give him our photo. Mr. Jefferson? We need to talk. Uh, Can you see I'm talking to Mr. Jefferson now? Yes, I see. But maybe you shouldn't. Uh, and why not? Hold on, Victoria. Are you okay, Max? Hell no. Only when Victoria understands that hiding behind a screen, posting videos of people is incredibly cruel and unfair. You're smart enough to know how easy it is to hurt somebody. To destroy their life. I just want you to think about how much it would hurt if somebody did that to you. You can always make the right choice, Victoria. I know you've got a good heart. I've seen it. Listen, I... I didn't... You don't have to explain. There's no reason for you to be so insecure that you can't be happy with your own talent. Wouldn't it be better to lift people up than to bring them down? You could inspire Wise words. people. Okay, I don't know what you're talking about now, do I, Mr. Jefferson? I think I should stay out of this one, Victoria. Then I guess I'm done talking. And that's okay, too. Oh, you're gonna get that it, boy. That kind of random, Max. What did you mean? Here's my photograph for the Everyday Heroes contest. Oh, uh, that was easy. No. It wasn't easy at all. Well, I, uh... I, I can't prejudge yet, but I'm very... Happy you decided to enter. That means a lot to me. And Blackwell, the, the first step for any artist is to put themselves out there in the world without fear. To be innocent. Or guilty. Uh, Ooh. Well, thanks for the photo. And maybe both of us will be jet setting to San Francisco this Friday. Oh, hell no. Maybe only one of us will be going. Don't be so modest, Max. Anything can happen in a week. As you're going to find out, Mr. Jefferson. Oh, how does this pan out? Just a raid. That's good. And he's arrested. Fuck yeah. And they find Rachel. Still no changing that. Chloe get back into Blackwell or is she just visiting? What's the story now? Oh, 
Whoa. Pacific West Airlines. So where are we heading? Okay. You're okay, Max. You're safe. On a plane. I hope I did everything right this time. Hopefully. Local teacher arrested. Ah, uh, that would be Mr. Today. Jefferson. Holy shit, you, Max. I'm so proud oh. of my superstar. Oh, you're alive. Oh, you're alive. Well, sir, indeed. Oh my god, Max, you are freaking ace. And then people say there's no such thing as strong independent females in video games, or, well, they don't say that, they just say that there's not enough. But look, here's your prime example. Be careful. I'm still between realities, and I can't focus on this one for too long. Oh, yeah, I was wondering about that, but yeah, here's your prime example of a strong female character. I mean, I know this was in 2015, and it was sort of like near the end of 2015 or mid-2015 when people started saying, Oh, there's no females in games. Look, prime example here. I mean, you can't just shoehorn them in. There needs to be a good narrative. There needs to be a good story. Like, don't be throwing characters in for the sake of, you know, fulfilling. Focus on that, Max. Okay, yeah, now focus on that. I have to wait that. until after my trip to see her again. And I'm not letting her out of my sight again. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to learn her physical. As I was saying, fulfilling certain roles. Or uh, fulfilling certain apparent requirements. No, games should be left to be games. Oh, shh. And I didn't even interact with anything there. Wait, who's this Mr. Jefferson clone? Come fly with us anytime. Uh, I don't think so. I'm hoping... So weird to be in between realities. Everything is out of focus and in the distance. So there's got to be some consequence here, right? We're almost in San Francisco. I'm so stressed, but I'm so excited too. And you just can't hide it, can you? I admit, I love being called an artist. No. The Zeitgeist, or the Zeitgeist Gallery presents Everyday Heroes Display Artist Reception. Okay, that's nice, I get. I guess so. Beginning of the end for Jefferson and the Prescotts. Two Moon Diner? Amid all the environmental chaos in Arcadia Bay, such as the unseasonal snowfall and beached whales, some residents reported seeing two full moons last night around 8 p.m. Witnesses claimed the double moons were clear in the night sky until clouds covered them up shortly after they appeared. No cell phone or video footage has surfaced yet, which has led local meteorologists to believe that the imaginations are in overdrive due to the recent eco-havoc. Black Ground Security uncovers bunker and scandal. Ah, here we go. Acting on a series of tips from David Madsen, head of security at Blackwell Academy, police officers descended Tuesday on a bizarre underground chamber allegedly used by teacher Mark Jefferson and student Nathan Prescott to drug, kidnap and photograph young women. Although there were no other signs of physical or sexual assault on the victims, the disturbing revelations have sent shockwaves through the tranquil city of Arcadia Bay. Even Sean Prescott, the most powerful businessman in the area, is under investigation for his role as owner of the farmhouse where the high-tech darkroom studio was located. Continued on next page. Nope, not for us, it ain't. I bet this is a nice break for Principal Wells. After all the damage control he had to do this week at Blackwell. Ah, uh, yeah. He's headed rough. How did you sleep? Hope I wasn't snoring out loud, Max. Just a bit. 
It's been a tough week at Blackwell. So I hope you'll forgive me. Between Mr. Jefferson and Prescott's, things have been hectic, to say the least. I totally get it, Principal Wells. That's a smart way of telling me to stop whining. We are proud of you for representing Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes Contest. I know I'm not exactly the guy you wanted in San Francisco, but we all want you to have a great experience here. I already am, and we're not even there. Christ. Uh-oh. Another nosebleed? Max, you're not just screwing around with time. Oh, yeah, it somehow impacts us physically as well. Like, what's the correlation between nosebleeds and using the power? That's what I want to know as well. I mean, there's lots more questions to be asked. And of course, uh, answers to those questions need to be provided as well. Oh wow, look, new trends. I'm referring to our clothes here. San Francisco is so cool. And this gallery is huge. So is the buffet. If an event skimps on the food, you know it's a bad event. As long as I don't have to eat any caviar. This is your day, Max. You can do whatever you want. I hope you take advantage of your status and talk to as many influential people here as possible. Work the room. I don't know. I, I feel so weird, like I'm a little kid hanging with the adults. Max, after this week, you are certainly not a little kid anymore. In fact, you're a noteworthy adult being honored by your peers. Now you have to start acting like the photographer you want to be. Hell, I wanted to be in charge of a big school someday. So I started taking charge of things when I was young. <laughs> Ask my poor classmates. Max, I'm going to eat up that caviar so you don't have to. Uh, better get in there and start schmoozing. You know, I won't always be here to take charge. But you come talk to me whenever you want. Come on, Max. After everything that's happened, this should be the least scary thing you've ever done. Yeah, should be easy peasy, lemon breezy. Let's just talk to all, all these dudes here. Starting with this bloke. Wow, Sir Max. You did it. Somehow. I went from the dark room to this gallery. I've been through so many realities in one week. Life is weird. Oh, and Tashi's going to say the name of the game. And Tashi's going to say life is strange. So, Don Weber, Bob, Kissing. Where's our name? can see it. Ah, here we are, Max Caulfield. There I am, along with all the other winners. I should say artists instead. Mm-hmm. Okay, we can't talk to him. Oh, sh 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 stop! Ow. That just gave me a head. I keep forgetting... What button it is just to fast walk? Okay, what about you? I never thought I'd get to speak to a gallery receptionist about my own work. Why, good morning. You must be Max Caulfield. Congratulations for your everyday heroes photo. The exhibition is quite impressive, especially with your entry. Oh, thanks. Did you say that to the other winners as well? I bet you did. I need to drop some serious cash in there. And donations go straight into community art programs. Thank you. Can we dump cash in? No, we can't. Wow, sir. A Danny Lee article. Who's Danny Lee when Danny Lee is at home? I left my art in San Francisco by Daniel Lee. Yes, I was born on a bar train. Literally. It's a long, amazing story that I won't repeat here. Drinks are required for that one. 
here's to mom. That might explain my obsessive love for the Bay Area and its outpost for artists and dissidents. Despite the rampant gentrification, artists and creators thrive regardless of socio-economic pressures, because that's what they do. Galleries such as The Zeitgeist and Mikovich Fashion have engaged with the diverse community and practice what some patrons only preach. Continue to our next page. Guess we're not reading that far into it, are we? And these are only leaflets, just boring stuff. Let's go do what we came here to do. I heard Mark Jefferson was supposed to be here tonight. Not anymore. That was so shocking. I have one of his monographs, too. Hold on to it. His work is going to be worth serious cash. Really? Well, okay, I guess you got to separate the art from the artist. And speaking of art, what is this? <laughs> I know there's been some jokes about... um random nonsense being considered art but seriously this neon art i mean i don't get it not my style but the neon is a nice representation oh shit pretentious alert yeah i mean these are just neon lights thrown together i mean i i don't even know what this is supposed to be like what shape it's supposed to be taken or taking sorry it looks like Someone sitting on a chair, kind of? Maybe, perhaps? I don't know. It's not that deep. It's great to read all these comments. Even the mean ones. Hey, not as good as last year's show. Totally makes me want to start taking photos. The future of photography starts here. These heroes choose the path of least regret. A great example of total surveillance. Their 15 minutes are almost up. Oh, that was kind of harsh. Thanks, this is so nice, inspiring stuff. Okay, so there's only one or two mean comments, but that's about it. That one is kind of silly. <laughs> yeah, it is. Small bit. I would love to have this on a shelf. Someday. Ugh, not me. I'm afraid it would get up at night and do the oogie boogie. I like. Oh, but imagine how much time it takes to make one sculpture. Mm hmm. Fun fact I did like painting when I was growing up. I was never really good at it. I didn't have a. F I mean, I kind of had a flair for it, but I wasn't good. I mean, I enjoyed painting, even if they were shit. I did art when I was in secondary school, but like I said, I wasn't good at it. It wasn't something I could do. But I do like to dabble in a bit of photography myself now and again. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? I wanted to go there, but I didn't get in. They have such a cool program. I bet you're learning a lot. Uh huh. Aren't you from Blackwell Academy? Yes, yes, yes. You I said that. Look at this print. The depth of field, the colors, look at the bulk of shape. This was definitely shot with a medium format camera using a Leica 35mm lens. You can definitely find out... Oh, shut up, camera nerd. Young and grunge. He'll think about those days for the rest of his life in prison. Good. Noted photographer and teacher arrested for homicide and kidnapping. Oh, Jefferson again. Oh, can we take some champagne? Can we drink it? Champagne makes me think of me and Chloe getting busted with that wine. <laughs> oh, yeah. William did say something about no wine tasting. So they were caught tasting wine before. So, how are you handling your new fame as a photographer? I don't feel like a famous photographer yet. Every journey starts with the first step. I'm only a Blackwell bureaucrat, not an artist. But you've made us proud with the great response to your work so far. I don't know. I'm just lucky. There's no way I'm a real photographer yet. Don't sell yourself short, Max. Maybe I feel guilty for celebrating. Leave that to me. I... I should have been more proactive about Kate Marsh and her awful situation. She's strong, and I'm glad she made it out of that hell. 
should have put my foot down with Nathan Prescott. If I put my foot in his ass. Ah. That is definitely what he deserves. But we can just say Jefferson fooled us. Mark Jefferson was good about hiding his tracks. We were all fooled by him. Most of all me. As you might know, I have a weakness for prestige. And Jefferson had such a great reputation. Nobody expected him to be so disturbed. I couldn't believe the police found those sick photos in his dark room. Oh, those poor girls. At least he's in jail along with Nathan for kidnapping and murder. And Sean Prescott is now under serious investigation for all his years of corruption. Money and power can only protect you for so long at Arcadia Bay. The irony is that for once, Sean Prescott actually had no clue what was going on with Jefferson. And he even brought him to Blackwell. Wait. Sean Prescott brought Jefferson to Blackwell? Now if we can just figure out what's going on with the weather, maybe everything will be like it was before. Environmental science is above my pay grade, Max. But it sure would be nice to get back to Blackwell Academy the way it was before. I'm hoping this is a fresh start, Principal Wells. Like I said before, you're an adult now, Max. You can call me Ray. Oh, at least for this event. No. Oh, now, okay. if you'll excuse me, I hear the buffet calling me again. All right, enjoy. Excuse me, Max. I have to go call my wife and tell her I haven't broken my diet. No breakfast, please. <laughs> oh, hey, you're the one who entered the self-portrait. Or actually, do you call it a selfie? Anyway, I was very impressed about how you subverted it to make all of your photo subjects in focus. Oh, very smart. No, oh, thank you. But where is it? Oh, they're gonna keep baby in the doggo. How do these galleries afford to rent here? Very good question. I mean, despite the sort of uh, painted painting artistic style of the game, these photos look very good. And for a second there, that one looked kind of disturbing. I wonder if I can buy these everyday heroes pictures. Oh, I'll send you mine. Sorry, I don't know your name, but I saw your picture in the gallery brochure, and I, I just wanted to let you know how cool your entry was. Okay, it was cool, but... Uh, Apparently, I'm not Love cool enough for you to know my name. Me too. Lovely. Makes me want to go buy an instant camera. Damn, I bet that film costs a fortune. Ah, oh, here I am. Hi, and there she is to save the day. Hi. Oh, this would be so awkward. You did it, Max. You're a real artist. At least for today. Oh, what's going on? Wait, what's this now? Chloe! Hey, are you okay? We lost uh, you there for a second. I'm okay. Uh, jet lag. High altitude. Okay, so this story goes even the deeper. Off, idiot. Oh, come on. Please answer. What? Oh no. Chloe, where are you? I'm so fucking scared. I'm, I'm by the beach. I'm, Chloe! I'm can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Okay, that's kind of cliche. People just saying oh hello, God. hello into the phone when it's clearly cut off. Oh, I didn't fix shit. Chloe will die. Arcadia Bay is going to be destroyed. There has to be a way to stop this. 
for good. Uh, probably, probably, probably is gonna be a way to stop this somehow, some way. Somehow, some way, somehow, some, some, something, 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 something. Insert metaphorical text here. Anyway, guys, I think I'll end this video right here, no right. Fucking way, Chloe can't die again. I have to save her. Okay, right, enough, right. So obviously, the story of the game runs a lot deeper than the mystery behind Rachel Amber, her kidnapping, her murder, the. Uh, striking of Kate and whatnot. Clearly there's some supernatural forces going on as well. Unless of course it could just be a um, natural disaster of some kind. But given that we've been given you know, the supernatural powers of rewinding time, it's all connected somehow. So what I'm guessing is that certain events have to play out in a certain sequence to avoid the destruction of uh, Arcadia Bay. I mean, this is just a guess. I don't know. It'll involve more playing with time, jumping through different realities, and basically a whole trial and error of what works and what will not work, or will or what will save Arcadia Bay. Oh man, I can't articulate these things properly. <laughs> oh, I I'm just such a bad speaker. Like I can't imagine myself as a public speaker. Like I am not that articulate. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I mean, what is what is wrong with me? Anyway, guys, that being said, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, leave a dirty, nasty little comment in the comment section below, and of course, like always, I will see you in the next one. So on to next time. See ya.